It's about just, it's like the adventure, it's the traveling, it's the getting your hands dirty. It's, it's, it's not about one tape. So they're at flea markets or junk stores, you know, weird, the weirdest places, the dustiest, dirty places, Craigslist weirdness constantly because we're passionate about going to find VHS. My name is Ryan Disney. I created Tape Eaters. Um, first year was in Dayton, Ohio in 2012. And, uh, and then second year, it started in Ann Arbor and we just continue to have it in Ann Arbor. And it's the third year now. Nate, um, who's kind of my partner, was like, just bring it to Ann Arbor. I have a storefront, We're, we can do it there. And uh, it was free. And I was like, no problem, let's do that. He lives in Ohio, I live in Washington. So we kind of had the, we did, we prepared the entire show without ever stepping foot in Michigan since I think last February. I flew here, I bought a car, and now I'm gonna drive home. And I, I didn't buy the car to take tapes home, but I have a storage unit full of tapes I bought at conventions out here that I haven't been able to take back home on the planes. So I thought, well, if I buy a car here instead of out west, then I can bring all my tapes home, which is kind of ridiculous, but I've got about 800 tapes to bring home, so. I, I buy Blu-rays, I buy DVDs, but I just like VHS the best. And there's so many movies that you can't find past VHS, especially in like the horror genre. I don't like to call it collecting. I just buy movies I wanna watch. I've been doing it probably since I was 16, so 24 years. It's like part of the fun is going out and like digging through thrift shops and you know, your hands are covered in that black dust, you know, and you're looking for that. It's like finding treasure. You know, you're going through a bunch of like 25 cent copies of Jerry Maguire and you pull out like this really rare horror film you've been looking for forever. It's a bunch of, you know, super nerdy men and women who are really into movies and just happen to like a piece of plastic with a bunch of parts in it that has a movie in it, you know. To me, it's, it's way more artistic than I think you know, there's, there, it's super creative. Like, like what these guys are doing, they're making their own tapes, they're making their own artwork to go with the tapes. Um, you know, what, what Nate and I have done as far as just like promoting the show, it, it's, a, it's a lot of just creativity. It's a lot of just creating an art and uh, that goes hand in hand with it. And, and yeah, it's, it's all for VHS tapes that were from the 80s or whatever, but um, you know, if you go and, and just look at what the posters that people are making, to me, that's, that's what gets me more excited than just finding like some $15 tape. Um, it, I, it's a lot of people coming together to create a bunch of stuff for this reason.